Hello, thanks for joining me in another episode of Art Studio. My name's Wayne Clements and we're going to get into the dark this time. So, actually we're going to be lighting the dark, so we might even call it that, lighting the dark, there you go. Little cityscape, uh, actually it's going to be Brisbane reflecting into the water, so it's going to be interesting this because we're going to be using a few tools in this painting to create the effect of the city, the buildings, and uh, what I have done so far is because we've got a black canvas, I haven't put any white on there of course, but I have just very lightly gone over the canvas with some of our medium. And the medium we're using here is the modified linseed oil because we're using the W oils, the water soluble oils, and that's all you need. You don't need any solvents or anything. And we're just gonna go around our palette now and have a look at our colors. So we've got our titanium white, of course. We've got some blues, we've got some uh, phthalo blue straight out of the tube. We've also got some there that I have tinted. In other words, I put some white, a little bit of yellow ochre there with some white, more white into it here. I've got some uh, Volution Violet there. Now this colour here is Volution Violet and I've put a bit of black into it. So we just darkened that up, shaded it. And we've got some orange there. Also we've got some orange that I've actually tinted with some white as well. So we're just taking this thing out of that. We've got some darks, we won't be needing that. And we've got a little bit of black there. Uh, probably won't be needing that, but you can use it in these paintings sometimes to touch things up around the outside edges. Got some beautiful uh, violet there that I've mixed up. It's a little bit of the dioxazine purple. And I've got a bit of um, ultramarine blue in there as well. Here we go. This is the ultramarine blue with a little bit of white. And we've got some phthalo green as well. Got some reds here, almost straight out of the tube. Bit of white in there, so we've tinted that. So it gives us a nice little pink colour. Okay, so as I said, we've had a little bit of oil over the canvas here. Whenever you're doing that, make sure you don't put it on too thick. I always go over it with a tissue before I start because with linseed oil it tends to want to run even though it doesn't look like it's very thick on there, it can be. So just to get started, we're going to give our city a little background. We're going to have probably around about just below the halfway line. We're going to have our, uh, our line, so our city's above that line and the water below there. See so how we go for time, we might even put a little bridge or something in there and in the foreground as well in front of the city, but what I'm going to do right now, just give us a little, instead of having it, um, our city going straight on the black, we're going to give it a little bit of sky. So in other words, we're just going to give it that little bit of colour, that bit of haze you get around the, the city, uh, city lights at night. It's not all black, of course. So we're just going to gently go over that. And it's great to work on black sometimes with your colours because you can just fade them out gently into the darkness and it just creates that effect for you. So what we've got here is we've got the darkness of the sky at the top coming down to where it's picking up a bit of the light from the city and we get that bit of a glow about it. So while we've got that there, we can even put a bit of that in the water because it would be in there. So it's going to be in the sky, it's going to be in the water as well so we can give that just a very light touch with that colour we've mixed up which is the uh, Volution Violet, which you can actually see really coming out against that dark background there. What I've done is mix it with the black, otherwise it just would have been too light on there. So that just comes out very nicely in there, and that's pretty well all you need. And I'll just put that brush aside. We're going to go straight into some of our knives now. We've got a selection of knives here we're going to be using. We can even use our, our, our mixing knife that you see me use, mixing the colours. We'll be using this one, of course, our diamond blade. We've got a couple of ridges here. And we're going to try a little bit of everything, it doesn't matter. So we'll see what happens. Um, just going to start off with a couple of buildings first. We'll spread out a little bit of our white here. A few of our colours. The easiest way to pick these up is to spread your colours out thin. And that determines just how thick it is when you put it on there. So we get some blues happening there as well. All these colours we can spread out. The pinks, the reds. Just spread them out onto your canvas so it makes it easier to pick them up with your knives and you're not going into it too thick. The one thing we don't want to do is go right into this thick paint right back in there because that's how it's going to go on your, on your painting. So we're going to pick up a little bit of this uh, yellow ochre that we've got here with our white and we're going to start just creating the effect of some buildings. You can see how stark it is against the background. Looks great. Okay, so we can even fatten that one up and while we're at it, we can even reflect it in the water. So while we've got those colours on our, our tools here, we can actually, it's a good idea to um, put the reflection in there as well. So back in here, in fact, 
I've even got a smaller tool for that. You might even be able to use that one as well. There we go, a little flat knife. You can make a lot of these things. We do have them all for sale. You can check it all out. Most of the art shops carry a good selection of knives, etc. So we're just going to create the effect of this building behind this one. Could have put this one in first, but it doesn't matter. And you don't even have to worry about it fading out as such. So we can even make that building a little bit wider, like it's coming past that building there, and bring that down. Try and keep them straight as you possibly can. It's very easy to get out when you're using these tools. Everyone tends to lean them over to the left, so we've got to be very careful not to not to do that. We'll get those colours in there as well. And above it. Okay. I'm going to play around with that. We might, while we've got a few of those colours on the knife, we might even put a, a few more in back in there. Just back in the distance. You've got, you've got to put ones over the top of other ones and so I don't get them all in one plane. Three dimensional, that's the effect we're after. And while we're at it, we've even got some uh, violets here. We can put that in there as well. Fade it out into the dark. That's the beauty of working on these dark backgrounds. You can actually take that colour out just by creating that effect with the knife. It almost gives you the building like a few windows even. So it's a great effect. There we go, we can leave that. Maybe while we've got that on there, we can even put a few more in. Mix a few of these colours up if you like. We're gonna get lots of lights over the top of this shortly. So these are the actual colours in the painting. We're gonna have a lot of whites and things over the top. Lights on the building. Okay, we've just got a couple of minutes left before we have our first break. And pick up a few more of these colours and just start getting them in. That's the way. Just do it. You can always play with them later on, but you've got to get the bases, basics on there first. And your pinks as well. We're going to pick up a little bit of this red and maybe just pick up a little bit of that and just go along the side of that building there just to give it a bit of a three dimensional look as well. We can even put that colour in the water bit of red, but we're just about up for our first break, so we're going to leave it as it is. It's sort of starting to look like something, but um, there's a fair bit of work to do yet, so come back and join us and we'll, um, we'll continue on then. Welcome back to Art Studio. We've got our little city scene happening here. And we've got a few buildings in, we've got a lot of work to do, we've got to build a building to do, so we'll get into it. I'm going to grab one of my ridges now. Now the reason for that is, well, well it's pretty self-explanatory, I'll show you exactly what happens with it. You get your paint on your ridger, and you can't see it yet because it's a little bit too thick, but actually you can actually give that a bit of a ridge look. Now this is where it looks good here, so you can actually take the colour away until it almost disappears and put it in the water as well. Now another thing you can do with this is you can even run lines this way so you can do that anywhere in the painting with any of the colours you can even put a little bit of colour over the top of it like so And we can even do that with a couple of spots here now. We've got a, like a bit of a tower or something happening there. Need to get the colour in, that's the main thing. Okay, so we'll put a, we're we'll going to slip into a few different uh, knives and things as we go here, but um, just to get different shapes and things more than anything else. But uh, this is the little cityscape, you can have so much fun with these. And in fact, we want to make sure we get a couple that are. Uh, on different angles and things like that so it doesn't look all the one shape which is one thing you don't want either get a few different shapes in the top of them buildings drag them down get the reflection in the water don't forget these are just the background ones we've got ones to put in front of it yet so 
It's all happening here. We'll get a bit of white happening. The yellow ochre. Get my bigger knife, I think. Where did I put that? Over here. Okay, I'm going to go into the dark here and we're going to pick up a bit of this colour. See how much that stands out. So we don't want, to, want the bulk of the light into the woods, the centre, so it almost looks as if it's fading out towards the edges. Just for effect more than anything. And put those reflections in there as well. A little bit of violet in there, I noticed. Looks, break it up. Looks all the better for all this. Go for a little bit of violet. A bit of that pollution violet and the blue violet as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And pick up a bit of this blue. And we don't want to overdo it and make it look like a lollipop either, so we're forgetting to put our lights, our colours in the water, but that's all right. We'll get around to it. And back over here to those red violets. And you can turn the blades over, have a bit of a play. Okay, we've got a bit of white coming up into this. A lot of it's on the top edge of a lot of these buildings. Might have got the light effect at the top, top of the towers. You can even do it like so, pat it down. Anywhere you like, doesn't matter. We can even do a few up the other way. Don't worry about it too much. Just get it on there. You can always touch it up and play with it. That's the main thing. Okay, we're getting a few lights in here. We need a few of these in here now. Just in front of these buildings. Might even get a chance to put a, a bridge in here yet. There we go. We use our ridger. Might even use a smaller ridger. I don't know if you can see that, but this one's a much finer one than the one we just used previously. So it's better for things in the distance. I'm going to go with a bit of green in here as well. There we go. Not too much. Maybe another one just in there. So there you go. Almost gives you that effect of the high rise. Try and keep them straight. There we go, we're leaning over towards the left. That's usually what happens. You have to hang it on the wall crooked to get it back. Okay, a bit of blue over there. It's all starting to look pretty good so far. We've got a bit of dark in here that we missed earlier. Back in there, a bit of that blue as well. And plenty of this light. Mix and match, play around with it. Swap your tools over so they don't all look the same. Starting to look like something. Okay, we can even do a little tower or something up there. Right, just straighten some of those up. interesting that's the main thing practice with these tools just get used to swinging them around in your hand that's the main thing you can practice on a practice board first if you're not sure just get some of those lights on the outside edge of those buildings there layering that's what we're doing at the moment okay need a little bit of light here and there maybe a few reds the top of the buildings, a few lights and things. Get them in the water as well. Okay, just coming up to a break. Not too far to go. Before we go too much further, I might even give that a bit of a sweep and see if we can get a bit of a reflection happening here. Oh, it still add to it, doesn't really matter. So very gently, just straight across. I find a fan brush is good for this because you can control it and get it more level than you can with a big wide brush and just by sweeping backwards and forwards basically so there we go 
got that effect happening. We've still got some things going to be going in here. You can actually turn that on its edge now and sweep your knife through on its edge, which actually gives that great effect in the water, making it look like water. Okay. Still got a little bit of time. We're going to just put a few darks in there as well. We can do that in front of the city. Actually, you might leave that to last just over here. In the picture, we've got a bit of dark there, so I'm just going to leave that till the last. Pick up a few of these colours in the painting on the outside edge. A bit wider ones as well. Here we go. Not looking too bad. Straight over the top and get those reflected in the water as well. Just about up to our second break, I think. So we've got a little bit of time to play around, finish this off. But it's uh, starting to take shape now, looking probably starting to look like a city, I should imagine. And uh, we'll see if we can even make it look better when we come back. We'll see you then. Welcome back to our studio and we're into the cityscape and it's, what do we call this, into the night, something into the light or something. Anyway, that's what we did. We brought it from the dark into the light and it's coming alive and we've still got a bit of work to do here. So I'm going to actually pick up one of my liners now and I'm just going to go over a few spots and just straighten a few things up and make things stand out against the background like so. This is what you got to do. Just pick up your, your line. It's probably the easiest thing to use in this situation. Right now, you can even go through and put floors in buildings and things if you like. You can play around with it forever with these sort of little paintings. They're great fun. You can do that with a knife too if you like. So just have a practice with both until you get used to what you whichever tool you want to use. I like to use both actually. So it's, you, guys, you can see that actually everything isn't done with one tool. I find that looks better. It looks a little bit prefab sometimes. There we go. We'll have one building in front of another. There we are. Just straightening things up here and there. And some darks under here too. We're going to put a bit of a freeway or something in under there later. So just play around, check out your picture. You can go off any photo. This could be any city anywhere in the world. This, and that's probably the beauty of it. It doesn't have to actually be anywhere and then it can't be dated. Say, so, oh look, there's a new building there. It's not in that picture. But no one cares. It's a painting. It's a piece of art and it's not a replica of the city skyline, like a photograph or something. So that's the beauty of it. It lasts forever. You don't have to update the buildings. Okay. We're getting there. Just a few little things like this can make all the difference too. Just to distinguish one building against the other. And not all the same, of course. And that's all you need there. Same thing maybe here. Make that shadow side maybe of the building. Just the little things, that's what we're after right now. Tidy a little bit of that up as well. Okay. And we might even use my knife just to throw across. Get a bit of a shadow or dark line in here where, the, where you're breaking it up from the water and the city itself because we can even see what it looks better. We can even put in a few um, a few lights back in there against some of those dark spots. 
And one color we do need is straight out yellow. Get a bit of light in there. We can even we might even have time for a bit of a a bit of a splatter here, I think. So we'll get into that. Straight yellow. Just blob them on. You can even flick it if you wish. We'll do a little bit of both, hopefully, if we get time. And you can put those lights in the water. Usually when they reflect down like that, they're just about a straight line. Some of those lights, we'll get some reds in there as well. Traffic lights, don't worry about that dripping. See that drip then? Just leave it. It looks like something. And you can even reflect those down into the water as well. So now we're really getting the, the effect of like a little bit of a city happening here. And in fact, we might even put in a dark line about there somewhere. And a light over the top of it. So it's like a bit of a freeway coming into the city there. And we're running out of time, but it's going to come good. Even put the piles in there. Pylons holding it up, that'll set it off. So a little bit of light, a bit of white under there as well. And we don't want it everywhere. It's like it's through the trees or something and you can see bits and pieces of it. There you go. And over here, we're going to have a little bit of foliage, like a bit of bush or something happening on the outside edge. And we can use a bit of that. So we get a few darks coming in here. And don't forget folks, we're using the W Oils Water Soluble. And we can even put in a few... Well, we should reflect that actually while I've got it. They're so busy these painters, you can do so much with them, it's so much fun. So get into it, have a bit of fun with that. I'm going to do a splatter just very quickly, just to get some bulk lighting happening here. And we can get it in the water and everything, it doesn't matter. So they look like they're reflecting. There we go. That's just really brought it alive. And we can even get a couple of other colours in there if you like. We can even get a bit of that... Um, a little bit of that yellow maybe. Just a little splash of that yellow in the painting. Wouldn't hurt. A few lights on the buildings. And even a few little lights on the end of some of those towers. Looks like it needs a clean too. Okay, we're getting down to it. I'm going to put the frame on this shortly. We've got a, it's got a real dark bit of gold in the frame, so it should set it off. So I'm going to even put a few lights up, some towers and things here. A, bit of, a few yellows. Some whites. Well, you can see how much fun you can have. Just, there could be any city anywhere. And it's the actual artistic creation of it. It just, you can have so much fun. There we go. I'm just going to put the frame on that. We better sign it as well. We'll go with a nice blue, I think. Look really nice against that black. And don't forget, this painting will go online at uh, wayneclemens.com.au on the screen, and it is for sale. So if you're interested, you might like to uh, grab that and all that money from the proceeds of the painting going to the RSEQ Care Flight Rescue. Uh, everyone wins. There we are. Just finishing off that signature. It's very, um, very bright. Look, you can pick your own colour scheme. You can go in black and white if you like. Even that would look great. So, have a bit of fun. Have a bit of experimenting with it. Okay, we're just going to put the frame on this finished painting and uh, that should make a huge difference. So we'll have a look at that. Yeah, a bit of gold in this framing too. We should set it off nicely. Okay, got that nice contrast between the lights and darks. Finished product, um, little cityscape, you can do any city anywhere, look, have a bit of fun with it, and we'll see you next time on Art Studio, bye.